Hello everybody. This week, myself, Easy, and our dog Nola decided to travel across the coast and visit the seaside town of Hastings. We wanted to know what the people were doing there and what they like about Hastings. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Here we go. Tell me, um, why are you here in Hastings? Well, we, uh, we love to come to the, to the UK. Uh, we've been here a few times uh, before, I think like three or four times. Yeah. Uh, and we like the city because it's, it's, it's a kind of quirky or weird city. College. College, okay. Yeah. You're coming back from college? Uh, no, this is our break. half term, no, not half term, Easter break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not from Hastings, but like I grew up in Battle, which is like, sort of 15 minutes away. Okay, and so then why did you come here? Because, uh, well, you've got the sea for a start, which is nice. I know, it's just, it's, you, like, we just went to the 2P machines on the on the front. Like, there's just fun stuff to do. And I feel like around here, there's not that much fun stuff to do. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Why are you in Hastings right now? Um, just to get away from London okay. for a couple of days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what, what made you choose Hastings as opposed to Brighton or something like that? We went to a Whitstable last week. No, was it? It was two about weeks. two weeks ago, yeah. And then I chose Hastings yeah. this weekend. It was his time. Yeah. Oh, really? Is this what you do? Yeah, so... Well, no, newly. <laughs> it was supposed to be the... It was mid medieval town, right? Right, yeah. okay, yeah. So, yeah, we came here for that. And also, you know, there's a show called Peep Show? Yeah. And there's this guy named Jerry, Jeremy Osborne. He goes to Hastings to get bread for this girl he we really likes, We came here Elena. for the bread. We came here for the bread. And Wait, it wasn't even the right bread. They didn't have the, the spelt flour, but we did get we did get some bread, so. But inspired. We gotta come back. <laughs> Why have you come to Hastings? Why didn't you go to Brighton? Why didn't you go to, I don't know, Seaford? Actually, that is a good question. I don't think I know the answer. We wanted to be by the seaside. Okay. We knew that much. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. We've never we been here to. before. That's why we wanted to come here. That's a good, that's a good that's reason. That's a good, a good answer. But there seems to be like three, from what I've seen so far, there seems to be three sort of things. There's like the old town, the yeah. kind of the, the arcade like promenade thing, and then the old historical stuff all yeah. around the outside. What, what, are you, what, what kind of tickles your fancy oh. here? I mean, you said you were here in the arcade, yeah, right? Yeah, probably, you know, it speaks to my, like, youth, the arcade. Because um, <laughs> I, I like the old town as well. It's, it's nice, but I feel like it can be a bit expensive. Um, right. So, like, like, a lot of the shops around this street and stuff are really expensive. Okay. So it's nice to, like, come and see it because it looks really pretty, but I don't know. I couldn't really afford, probably, to buy stuff. So then, uh, what have you seen so far? What can you recommend? Literally nothing. Uh, that pub just up there. What yeah. was it? Ye old pump house. The pump house. Yeah, okay. man, they pump well. <laughs> uh, really? So that's the only thing you can recommend? We, well, yesterday it was oh, raining. No, the beach is beautiful. Yeah. The, yeah, the beach is beautiful, man. And the street is amazing, yeah. So when you go back to Antwerp yeah. and you, your friends are like, oh, what do you recommend in Hastings? What's the first thing you'll tell them to see? Oh, well, yeah, well, it's not one thing. It, okay. It's just the whole experience. It's the sea. Uh, because we stay in an Airbnb, which is, well, next to the sea. So it's called right. Atta Marina. Yeah. Uh, so you have sea view. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. And that's something that you, you don't find easily in Belgium because we had just have a, a short... Uh, coastline um, and then well the English pubs it's <laughs> yeah. something yeah it's, it has some atmosphere it well you don't find in in Belgium right okay yeah and uh, well the whole atmosphere here nice. yes yeah are you an English learner then click this link or go to patreon.com forward slash easy English videos to start learning English with our episodes for just five euros a month, you can get reading, audio and video material connected to all of our episodes. One of our perks is the Easy English Worksheet, which asks you to fill in the blanks with the correct word or phrase used in the episode. We also have the Odd Ones Out section. Here's an example of one asking you to find eight British slang exclamations of surprise. So if you're an English learner or an English teacher, head on over to patreon.com forward slash easy English videos to start learning with us. Now back to the episode. What are the people like in Hastings? Oh, for, on the most, just nice. Yeah. Like, um, I feel like people are friendlier in, Hast friendlier in Hastings than they are like, if you went to like Tomridge Wells, which is sort of like, I don't know, half an hour away, but it's like yeah. a very different vibe. Like the people here are like a lot 
I don't know, nicer, I guess, to talk. I don't know, like, just, like, friendlier. Because I'm, I'm essentially a tourist. Yeah. What would you say is, like, a like a good thing that tourists should go and see or Old do? Old Town, this, oh. this bit. Yeah. It, I'll, it's I'll all say... of unique stuff. Right. So probably seafront, like, East Hill. Because if you go to under East Hill, the yeah. seafront's out. You can then walk to Fairlight along the seafront. Right. Along the rocks. Uh, Fairlight's a massive trek that's way up there. Yeah. So you can walk along the entire seafront. So at the top of the ra- the funicular railway yeah, yeah. is where the inventor of television did his first radar experiments. Right. How would you know that? Because I... Which cool. I did all the research about what we were going to do here. Okay, okay. Are we like, am I stopping you from, are we on like a time <laughs> schedule? She's got a notebook. We have an agenda. Facts. Okay, well, this is good though. I want to know like what you've got like planned for the next couple of days. Well, we need to go to Boots to buy some makeup. Oh, I, so the castle is so, is important because it's featured in the Bayer Tapestry because it was involved in the Battle of 1066, I think. I'm pretty sure that's in my notes, but I don't want to get my notebook out on a camera. <laughs> <laughs> and is that where you're off to next? No, no so that's just up there. Oh, is that way? Yeah. Hold on, but there's two funiculars, right? I saw one. Oh, there's a funicular up there. Ah, okay. It's one of them is where the inventor of television first did his radar experiments. Okay. That's not me. Oh, great. And then, um, so then what, what have you got on your itinerary for the, your time here then, other than going to see the... The, the big inventor. trip yeah. is to go to Boots. <laughs> we need some makeup and some shampoo. You need to like tell people what Boots is because uh, now you've mentioned Boots the pharmacy it's a cosme- and a cosmetic shop. It's nothing historical. No, no. absolutely not. We just haven't had a chance before we arrived. And okay. Oh, and the pub, Pump Room. That one. Ah, ye, ye old yes. Pump Room. Ye old pump. Let's say you hear of someone, and I'm going to go check out Hastings. What is apart from the pump house? <laughs> oh, babe, that's all it's about. The pump house. <laughs> what, what are you telling them to do? Because obviously, Hastings, like you said, it's a ancient town. You know, it's got some history to it. Yeah. Where are you telling them to go first? The pump house. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely the beach, but not in this weather. Yeah. We came. We came, so we really. came at the wrong time. <laughs> okay. The wrong time. We don't have enough time. You know, as we're heading back to London uh, no, today. Right. So it's unfortunate. We came yesterday. The weather was terrible. And did you get to see any of the, you know, the castle on the no, hill? It was raining not, all yeah. day yesterday. He just so. took shelter in the yeah. pump house. And... Yeah. No, we love the pump house. The pump house <laughs> no is great. No way. <laughs> she loves the pump house even more than I love the pump house. You're terrible. You're terrible. Do you have shares or stocks in the pump house? No. no, no I wish. No, no. Wow. We I just wish. got shares and stocks in each other. <laughs> if you met someone and, and they were going to go to Hastings, yeah. What's what's the, what's your thing? Like, go here. This is oh, what we have to do. Oh, I don't know. I, I would literally just be like the two P machines. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, what would I say? You give me something. What would you do? You come here. And then tell, tell me, because you said about the, the old town which we're in now. Yeah. Uh, just give us like a description of it. What, what how would you best describe it? Uh, unique. You can find a lot of weird things here. Um, <laughs> mostly a. Uh, Antiques, yeah. uh, homemade stuff. Like independent yeah. store. Yeah, yeah store. independent stores. Yeah. And if you're old enough, there's like a ton of pubs, right? Yeah. There's like, I can't, there's a ridiculous amount of pubs. I can yeah. see maybe like four in my eye line. <laughs> just yeah, in my there's a, the best one's probably the Red Dragon. It's just down there. Yeah? Why is that? Uh, cheap and good. <laughs> Nice atmosphere as well at night. And then give us one thing to avoid, and I'll let you go. Um, probably the underground car park. <laughs> <laughs> that or just people you see in puffer jackets. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, I haven't done in ages, oh. but I used to really like to do yeah. was going up the, the lift, the lift things yeah. up to the old castle. Nice. So I think that's probably because it's... I think if you haven't been here before, it's definitely something Yeah, to do. that's true yeah. to be fair. It's, and there's two lifts, right? Yeah, yeah there's like it, a really old knackered one. Yeah, yeah. And that goes to, I don't know where It just one. goes like up it's the hill. It's like up a hill. Just like, and then <laughs> yeah. you're at the top of the hill. But, but then the other one is for the castle, right? Or the... I think so. I've literally never really been to Hastings Castle. I have. Like, even yeah, when I've I was a like kid. Once or twice ages ago. <laughs> like on a school trip or something. But um, it's, and it's, the, the lifts are kind of unreliable, like they're not open sometimes. Right. So it's definitely something if they are open, it's worth yeah. doing because it's, it's, it's yeah. not common. 
And it's not expensive either. It's yeah. like too weird. Also, the True Crime Museum. I just remembered. I love the True Crime yeah, Museum. Well, go there. I haven't been there for ages, but like when I was younger, I used to go there all the time. English crime or just like... I see, yeah, it's just English crime. And you'll go and it'll be like, this is the bed that this man was lethally injected on. So... <laughs> yeah. Okay, two pee machines, cr True Crime Museum, and a lift that doesn't really work so well. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. That's brilliant. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on Hastings, if you've ever been, and what you thought of our new drone intro. Do you like it? Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye.